Hey everyone, I'm Rosie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is a get ready with me slash appearance transformation. I go from looking gross to decent. Let's just get into this. It's transformation time. Here's the before. Got a bit of, you know, pimples, a little bit of dirty hair, and now it's time to just change all of that. So I'm currently extremely pale. Summer tan is just like completely gone and I'm really upset about it. We're using the foundation I always use, but this is my lighter shade. So it's the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation in R330. This setup is a little bit overwhelming because I don't know where to put my mirror. So let's just put it right on my bed and just hope it doesn't fall onto my laptop. Currently listening to Colleen's new EP and it's a uh, great. My skin has been doing decent. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's not great. My lips look so pink compared to like my really white face right now. This is one of the most important steps for me. Concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. I don't even know if you can tell. Oh my god, you can't. Okay, you kind of can. It's not, it's not great. They're bad. Especially this eye. It's like way worse. My face is just very uneven. One side's darker. My eyes are different shapes. My eyebrows are different heights. I like the left side of my face much better. This eye is more circular. This one's complete oval. This eyebrow is higher. You can probably tell my face is very uneven. Even my ears. One ear is definitely higher. And then when I wear sunglasses, they always look crooked. Love not having Spotify Premium. So now we're on to powder. This is my favorite powder. I've been using this for like five years. It's Rimmel Stay Matte Silky Beige. I dropped it, so um, this is the current state. I bought a new one, but I just wanna, oh my god, it all came out of my pants. Bought a new one, but I just wanna um, use this one up a bit more. Don't wanna waste. It's all falling, oh my god. I could never use loose powder. Now we're on to a step that I used to skip all of the time, but it's kind of my new thing. It's using this and doing these things, which is like basic things that everyone does in their makeup routine, but I used to skip blush, bronzer, highlight, and now I do it most of the time. I don't know if I put these things really in the right spots, but I make do. That looks really dark. Oh my god, that's not good. Frick. Oh my god, it's so bad. What did I just do? This usually doesn't happen. Too much came out. Look at my freaking temples right now. <laughs> okay, let's just fix that. I think I got a little bit carried away because I forgot that I'm this white, so I can't be that dark. I did blush off camera because I forgot that I was recording this. But now it's highlight time. You can't even see it. Why does these things happen? Some you can see too much and some you can't see at all. This is where it gets really important. My eyebrows. They really need to get done soon. So when I fill them in, when they need to get done, they end up looking like so bad. I'm gonna just do a very, very light fill in. Even though I say that every time and then it goes so crazy. Here's the before. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. I think I'm good. These are the eyebrow -ies. You can see what I mean. They're different shapes. Eyeshadow time. This is what really changes my whole appearance. Not just this palette, just eyeshadow in general, you know. It really changes a person. At this current time, I just really want a bagel. So I really wanna finish this up so I can eat a bagel. Here's a pour of my eyes. Also, my eyelashes are non-existent, so. Good. I feel like my eyebrows not being done is actually ruining the, this whole look for me. So a lot has happened. I finished my eyeshadow and I added eyeliner without recording it because I really needed to be focused on the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. It's just kind of like boring to see. So 
Here's the current look. It actually turned out decent today. It usually doesn't, so I usually never do it because my eyes are so uneven. But this side looks good, this side looks too thick and ugly. So, looks good right now. That's mascara time using my current fave mascara, um, L'Oreal Telescopic. It's been working wonders for me, so that's really great. We're gonna have to change the location up a bit so I can pay attention to what I'm doing when I'm putting this on. The lighting from this side is clearly not great because we're on the other side of the window. I literally do this for so long just to get it really good. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, they already died down. That happens all the time. Although I like the left side of my face better, the right side of my face is better with eyelashes. Wow. Compared to that, frig. That's good. So that mascara is great, but not for my lower lashes. Like, my lower lashes look like when someone's trying to dress up as a doll for Halloween. When they put like all the little gaps in between their eyelashes. I'll insert a picture if I can find a picture of what I'm talking about. I'm using now my Urban Decay All-Nighter Spray. Let's do this. This literally just smells like urine to me. It smells so gross. And then my face smells like that all night, so. It's the makeup. How do we like it? I'm not doing lips. I don't do lips because I have Invisalign and it just isn't great. And also because I'm gonna eat soon. Hair time. So I wash my hair every two days. It's Saturday. I washed it on Thursday. Not going to wash it today because I have makeup on. If you're wondering why I didn't do it before my makeup, it's just because I didn't have time. I did. I just didn't want to. So I use this Batiste Pretty Delicate Rose Gold Dry Shampoo. I don't spray it straight to my hair because that will make my hair so gray. So I just spray it onto the hairbrush. So here's the hairstyle. I feel like it. JK. I'm a pro. Like a pro at braiding other people's hair. When it comes to mine, I can't do it. Well, my hair is done. I did a little bit of like a French braid half up type of thing. And that's pretty much it for this uh, transformation of my appearance. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you in my next one next Monday. Bye.